If you have ever struggled with handling databases in Python or if raw SQL just isn't a cup of your tea, then you are in the right place. By the end of this video, you will be well equipped to start harnessing the power of SQL alchemy in your own Python projects. Today, we are going to dive deep into game changing tool that has revolutionized how Python developers interact with databases. Hello and welcome back to our channel. If you are joining us for the first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss out any of our exciting content. If you want to master Python and willing to take Python certification course, check out the link given in the description below. Let's see the agenda for this video. First we will see what is SQL Alchemy, following up with the ORM mapper and data abstraction layer. Then we will move on to the connection between ORM and DAL. And in the end, we will get to know how SQL Alchemy is used with Python. SQL Alchemy, for those who don't know, is an open source SQL toolkit and object relational mapping system that gives developers the full power and flexibility of SQL but through a simpler and more readable Pythonic syntax. We are going to walk through what SQL Alchemy is and why it is so important. Now, let's get started. So, let's know first what exactly SQL Alchemy is. It is a popular Python library that provides an object relational mapper and a database abstraction layer. It allows Python developers to interact with databases in a way that is both efficient and expressive. This powerful tool supports a wide array of databases, abstracts complex database tasks and provides a high level efficient way to handle data manipulation and retrieval. You must be thinking, why do we need this at all? So, let me clarify it for you. We use it because, first, ease of use. SQL Alchemy allows developers to interact with databases using Python code, rather than writing SQL queries. This simplifies database operations and makes the code easier to understand and maintain. Second one is data abstraction. SQL Alchemy provides a high level abstraction for the databases, making it possible to switch between different types of databases, like MySQL, SQLite, etc with minimal changes to the code. Third one is support for ORM. The SQL Alchemy ORM enables developers to work with databases using Python objects, effectively turning tables into classes and rows into objects. This object relational mapping simplifies complex database operations and makes the code more Pythonic. Fourth and the last one is efficient and secure. SQL Alchemy provides efficient and secure handling of database operations. It automatically handles connections, pooling and transactions ensuring data integrity and efficient use of resources. Just now I mentioned ORM, so what is it? Basically, an ORM, Object Relational Mapper, is an ingenious programming technique that seamlessly bridges the gap between object-oriented programming languages and relational databases. Acting as a virtual translator, it transforms database rows into objects and vice versa enabling developers to interact with their databases using familiar, language-specific constructs. By abstracting database queries into objects, the ORM mapper simplifies complex database operations, promoting maintainable and efficient code while preserving the full power and flexibility of underlying SQL operations. Now, let's talk about the data abstraction layer. The data abstraction layer in SQL Alchemy is a system that facilitates interaction with various types of databases using a uniform API. It works by abstracting the underlying SQL expressions, thereby allowing developers to write database queries using Pythonic syntax. This high-level abstraction simplifies database operations and promotes code portability across different database systems. Now we will talk about the connection between ORM and TAL. ORM is the backbone of SQL Alchemy. It leverages the Python data model to provide a high-level Pythonic interface to relational databases. This means that tables in a database are treated as Python classes and rows are instances of those classes. The SQL Alchemy ORM provides a mapper which is a bridge between Python classes and database tables. The mapper translates Python objects into rows in a table and vice versa. This allows developers to manipulate database records as if they were Python objects. They can then write queries in Python instead of SQL. In essence, the ORM and the DAL in SQL Alchemy are interconnected. The object relational mapper uses the data abstraction layer to abstract database interactions behind Python classes, objects, allowing developers to write database operations in Python, while the abstraction layer makes these operations work 
across different types of databases. The seamless integration of ORM and DAL in SQL Alchemy simplifies database interactions, making them more Pythonic and database agnostic. Thanks to its Pythonic interface and ORM tool, it allows developers to use Python syntax to interact with databases. It supports a wide variety of databases and has a consistent API, which means that developers can switch between different databases with minimal code changes. This is why SQL Alchemy is so popular in Python ecosystem and is considered the go-to library for database interaction. In conclusion, SQL Alchemy and its ORM mapper provide a high-level Pythonic interface to SQL databases, allowing Python developers to handle complex database operations with simple Python code. It abstracts the complexities of SQL, making it easier to create, read, update, and delete records in a database, which we often call it as a crude operation. It's an excellent tool that makes database operations in Python easier and more efficient. I hope now you are familiar with SQL Alchemy and why it is important. In the next video, we will be talking about the implementation of SQL Alchemy with Python. So make sure to like this video and comment on what else you want to learn about SQL Alchemy. Until then, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!